Yeah, this your boy Tick, aka Game Fanatic, the Michael Jordan of gaming. And first things first, man, I want to wish you guys a Merry Christmas. Um, I hope you guys, you know, got everything you wanted on your wish list. And if you didn't, I hope you're still having a great time because Christmas isn't all about receiving. It's all, you know, it's about giving also. And it's all about, you know, being full of happiness and cheer, you feel me? And most of y'all probably went out and party last night, so y'all probably filled with lager and beer. <laughs> but, um, yeah, man, I, you know, I want to give you guys this gameplay. This map here is on, uh, this one, it's called Winter Crash. Um, I think it was, um, it's a customized map, I think only for the PC. I've never seen it for the Xbox. I think it was only for the PC. And basically what it is, is it's basically the map Crash. What a Christmas thing. As you can see, all the you know Christmas lights, candy cane, snow. Even if it goes down to the sound also. Like um when you use airstrikes, you hear, you know, jingle bells and you also hear Santa Claus. <laughs> so it's it's a very cool mod that they put on the on the PC. Um also man, I'm sorry for the the you know the game going out of sync. I don't know how to fix it with Sony Vegas. I thought I could drag the audio file and move it until I could sync it, but I guess I don't know how to do that. Or you can't do it. So, I'm um, sorry for it going out of sync. It, it always happens on the computer. It's because, I think it's because the graphics card and the processor can't keep up with fraps running. So, it'll throw it out of, out of sync sometimes. And sometimes it won't. So, but it doesn't matter though. Um, this is all about commentary. I really wasn't trying to get that beast of a gameplay um, on this. So, but it was still pretty good. And also, um, I want to let you guys know I did. I played this game for like five minutes before I recorded it. Because the game, when I came in, it was already going on, and it still had 16 minutes left on the clock. And I was like, I'm not going to record a 16-minute gameplay and try to do a 16-minute, you know, commentary over it. Plus, I know y'all don't want to sit there and watch the 16-minute commentary also. So, you know, it helps to both of us, man. Because, you know, I, I did an 18-minute commentary before, and uh, it was hard. You know, that's what she said. Shout-outs to Dream Merchant looking so ugly as I don't know what with it. You know, it's, it's Sunday, so I'm going to keep it clean. No curse words. You know how I do. But, uh, yeah, man. Um, Yeah, and it's Christmas, too. So, you know, you got to be happy. You know, we don't want all that cursing and everything. But, anyway, uh, it, it it was it's kind of hard to do with fret. So, I was like, you know what? I don't really care about the gameplay. But, anyway, I don't really have a topic. I'm just freestyling this. I don't know what to talk about. So, you know what? I'm going to talk about, um, I'm going to talk about, you know, my experience at a retail store <laughs> leading up to Christmas. Mind you, man, this is the first time I ever worked in a retail store. My whole life I've been working at um restaurants, either fast food or a regular restaurant. And it was basically since 05, I've been working every Tuesday. So, this is my first time ever experiencing retail. Um, I did work at GameStop for a little bit back in 05, but... It was only for seasonal, and it really wasn't that serious. It wasn't like a real big retail store. Um, saw me try to get away from that grenade, man. I was freaking out. I ain't make it though. But um, anyway, <laughs> this is my first experience, and let me tell you, man, it was wild and it was crazy. I don't want to do it again. I'm, I want to leave this retail store. One, I just want to get paid more. I might go to a retail store that pays more, like Staples, Best Buy, something like that. Also, um. I might go to either FedEx because my homeboy's a manager up there and I know I get paid a lot up there. Plus, I can train to be a driver and get paid a lot more. And then I probably can become a manager. So, um, I might, you know, ask him to get me hired up there. But, uh, yeah, I'm basically, I want to leave, man. It, it, it's just a, it's just crazy. Um, if you guys have never worked at a retail store in Christmas, I can tell you it's going to be serious when you get, when, as soon as you start working there and that Christmas season comes through, it's going to be crazy. Now, Back to school is wild too. Don't get me wrong. Back to school, that's wild. But that's that's nice though because you get to see all the female freshmen that are getting ready for college. Um, it's hard for me to look at. I don't. I can't talk to anybody younger than like twenty. That's just me. But um, some of them are nice looking. I would definitely you know try to beat that up. You <laughs> know, I'm not gonna lie. But yeah, man, you see all the little you know college freshmen and stuff getting their stuff for school and they be looking bad. Some of them. So that that's cool. It's kind of a rush then, but Christmas is about far the worst because um, ew, dog, why the transition like that? But anyway, um, it, it's it's just it's just havoc, dude. Like that ass, like it's hat. Oh shoot, I curse. Oh uh, anyway, it, it's just havoc, dude. Like I'm I'm serious, man. Um, I'm not doing this over, so screw that curse word. 
uh, <laughs> uh, like, man, like, say, like, your manager wants you to do, you know, a certain test, like, he wants you to go set up an end cap. Um, get this picture in your mind. If you ever went to a store and you, you're walking through the aisle and you walk past the aisle, like out of the aisle, and you look to your, to the end of the aisle and you see like a, you know, a shelf with things on it. That's an end cap. So say your manager wants you to set up an end cap. You happen to walk past toys or electronics. Those are the most hit parts in the retail store during the holiday season. So you walk past toys. You're not going to make it out of there, and like probably like until like 20 minutes later. To go back and do your test because you're gonna have so many people, uh, so many people <laughs> bombard you asking you to go find a toy. They say, "Hey, do you work here?" You're like, "Yeah." I'm like, "Um, I'm looking for this toy. I don't see it on the shelf, so I wanted you to see if you had some, you know, in the back. So you gotta go look, see if it's in there. Most of the time, in the beginning of the month, we do have toys that's in the back, like we have them in stock. So we have to go back and go grab the toy and sub it out. Now that t alone takes more time out of it. That's like a good five more minutes taken away from you and you have to go do that so imagine having six people asking you to do this every time you come back there's another one just asking so basically you just get out it'll be a whole hour later before you get back on your test and the managers get upset about this because they want that task done and they don't really understand for some reason i guess most of them never worked on the floor i guess some of them just came and just straight became a manager they applied for management so they don't understand you know what we go through most of the time some of them do get their elbow i mean get, you know they get their hands dirty sometimes, but most of the time they don't understand. So, you know, it, it, you don't really get your job done. They get mad, and sometimes you might have to stay later. Also, um, the you know, the customers are crazy. Remember I told y'all about them stealing your carts? Well, they get really unruly <laughs> later on in Christmas. Like, when I was doing my reshop, man, two days ago, or well, yesterday and the day before, man, I came back out after my breaks and my carts were always gone because somebody took them. And, it, and I don't, they, I don't know, people are just assholes during Christmas. Ah, oh, damn it, I did it again. Ah, oh, whatever. Uh, <laughs> they, they are just, they are just, you know, crazy when it comes to the Christmas season. Um, also, man, um, you know, we had a guest who got his car taken yesterday, man. He went on a killing spree, just wilding everybody out. He wilded the GSTL, that's a guest service team leader. Um, he wilded out. Um, the manager, he wound out one of the guests doing, no, he wound out one of the team members doing reshop. Just because he had carts, he automatically thought he took the cart. And he wound out um, one of the team members at guest services after he wound out the manager. Which is crazy. <laughs> I mean, he had some CDs in there that I guess he was going to buy for somebody. But that was his fault for leaving the carts. I mean, that's not our fault. So he, it's funny that he wound out a team member after he talked to the manager because he asked the, he asked the manager a question he couldn't get an answer he wanted so he goes to the team and asks them and she's like I can't tell you if you didn't if the manager didn't tell you and he starts wilding how asking for her name and everything just tripping dog like he was just on uh, he was just crazy dog. I don't know what's wrong with him but uh that's how people get during the Christmas season but anyway this video is coming to an end if you like the commentary please you know do all that stuff I usually say to do I don't feel like naming it also man wish you guys a Merry Christmas again I hope you guys got everything you want and eat up and go to sleep and go back to work tomorrow. But this is your boy Tick, and I'm gone. Bye.